All right, here we go. Question number eight from our college algebra homework number one in my lab math it says graph the following function. Here they give us an absolute value function. I guess it would be nice to know that an absolute value graph always makes a V. And so if you notice, we have four V's to pick from. What I'm going to do is walk you through how to graph this by hand up here, and then we'll pick the graph that looks like what we drew, okay? So we're going to start with the table of values. And just to give you a little secret about making this uh, easy on yourself, the first X that you want to pick needs to be a number that will make this zero. That's what I call the critical point. It'll produce the vertex of the V, okay? So what X would make the stuff inside the absolute value zero? That would be negative three. Negative three plus three is zero and the absolute value of zero is zero, okay? Now we're going to pick two other points. I want to pick a number below negative three, say negative four, and then a number above negative three, say negative two. So negative four is one unit below negative three, and negative two is one unit above negative three. And we're going to plug those into our function and see what we get. Okay, here we go. For negative 4, that's going to be the absolute value of negative 4 plus 3. Doing the order of operations, we need to do what's inside first. Negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1. And the absolute value of negative 1 is 1. And so that gets our y value. Next, we're going to do negative 2 plugged in for x. Again, doing the order of operations, negative 2 plus 3 is positive 1, and the absolute value of 1 is 1. And so it's no surprise that those values are the same since we went equidistant from the vertex. And now we're going to plot those points and play connect the dots. So the first point, if I go to negative 3, I'll be at 0. That means at negative 3, I'm not going to go up or down any. At negative 2 and negative 4, I'm going to be at a height of 1. And then I can see that I'm going to have a V right there. So that would be a left shift 3 units. Okay, so that takes our V and shifts it left 3 units. And that looks like answer choice D. Man, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.